Ah. Uh, public opinion. A beautiful thing. And a thing that is quite often, most definitely, objectively, wrong. I'll show you what I mean. For example, when asked what this form of utensil is, the majority of the answered spork. And can I just say, congratulations. You're right, there is no way in hell that this is a splayed. Some of you went as, went as far as to message me, what the f is a splayed? So now comes my challenge. I'll answer the questions that have plagued humanity for so long. What the f is a splayed? What the f is a spork? And what the f is the difference? In truly proving that this is a spork, let's review the word itself. Spork is a portmanteau of spoon and fork, that's what makes the word, and this looks pretty spoon forky to me. Splayed, on the other hand, is a portmanteau of spoon, fork, and blade, and there's not really any blades on this, is there? Are there? I don't think so. But that does raise another question. What is a spoon knife actually? That looks pretty good. I'm going to go and invest in the spoon knife business later. Further evidence suggests that spork is the correct name for this instrument. This instrument has three to four prongs, much as a fork would, and splayed has no relation to fork. Anywhere. Literally none of the letters match. Spork, on the other hand, has three-fifths of its letters matching, in exactly the same order. So Spork fans rejoice, there is no way that this can be a splayed, and it is, in fact, a Spork. As a final damning, let's Google this to prove this point once and for all and... No. That's not this. That's an obese fork at best. Wait, hold on, let me... Oh no. This is very bad. Okay, let me backtrack a bit. This is not a spork. A spork is a spoon fork, but it's more of a spoon than this. This utensil is supposedly a splayed, a coin termed in the 1940s by one William MacArthur. None of these lads though, I couldn't find a picture. So that's it. Game over. Is splayed truly the correct term for this utensil? No, I refuse to believe it. Let's review the evidence one more time and wait. What's this? The alternate word for splayed? North? Could this be our great saviour? Have we finally cracked the code of what the true intended name of this utensil is? Look, it all makes sense. The letters in spoon, like and fork, like even distribution, so it makes sense for such a mind boggling tool. But alas, there is little to no conclusive evidence, and in truth, all that we have learned from this exercise is that spork is not the correct term for this utensil. Fortunately, however, that does make the majority of you wrong. And isn't that what's important? Nah, if you'll excuse me, I'd love to have some scones and jam with my favourite smell.